Survival number one. In a recent study of the top developed countries, America is number 25 in math skills, number 27 in language skills, but we're number one in confidence. Oh, true. Ah, true, true. interesting. The uh, number two is my favorite number. After number two is what? Three. Smiley face, right? Oh. Smiley <laughs> face. For people who like people. You like people, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And after that is the dollar symbol. Is the dollar symbol. The dollar symbol, where I keep the big denomination bill. Your choice, if you want to believe me or not. Which one would you like? Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, smiley. Smiley face, yeah. perfect. But I like people. Which, which one would you like? I'll go with two. Number two, it is my favorite number. Which one would you like? Uh, I'm taking you at your word, sir. Take, give me the dollar sign. You know, believe me, that's kind of you. There's even an X on the back of that to remind myself that's where the big denomination bill is. Do you want to change your mind? No. No, no, okay. Rip open your envelope. Rip open your envelope. Do a, and do the giant Carson, if you remember that. Reach in, pull out your bill, pull out your bill. What do you have? I got a buck. Inside yours is a dollar. Inside yours is a dollar. The big denomination oh, bill. Oh, boom, baby. That is a $5 bill. And inside of mine, inside of mine, is the $100 oh. dollar bill. I know. Why didn't we pick one? Because number two is my favorite number, right? A dollar symbol. I said that's where the big denomination bill was. And I had to believe that. And so I put a bigger denomination bill in there so that you read that I'm telling the truth, because I am. Uh, I told you that smiley face was for people who like people, and because I knew that you wanted what you couldn't have, you're competitive, I offered it to her not to you so that you would take it. But number one, I made fun of America, yeah. and I made fun of Americans. And people in America, because of our big confidence and our patriotism, if someone makes fun of America, they don't take it. And if one of you would have, I would have given you an opportunity to switch. But luckily, that almost never happens. <laughs> you, you had an opportunity to I, I had a 50-50 shot to walk out of here with a hundy. You did. And it seemed like that was the obvious choice for the hundred. Absolutely. Right? Like that's like, counter yeah. like counterintuitive. Right. Right? Like I would have thought, well, of course he's going to put a big dollar sign on there because there's not the dollar. And when I did this recently in the UK, I had to change my uh, language and stuff. Oh. <laughs> because the Brits are self-loathing. Because <laughs> yes, they, they didn't mind. But, uh, but yes, out of, out of my career, I've done this in every show, about 500 shows God, a year for nine running. years, and I've missed it twice. Wow, that's awesome. How did you know we were going to pick this envelope? Now, I don't know which one of you would pick which, but I have multiple ways to convince you to do it. I can use your competitiveness. I can use your desire to be a people pleaser. I can use your desire for money, your belief that knowing something that you shouldn't know gives you information you shouldn't have had. If you wanted to switch with me at the last moment, I would have said, but look, there's an X on the back of yours to remind me where the money is. This one doesn't have an X, neither do either of those. And that would have made you decide, no, I'm going to keep it. I got him this time. And I would have been hesitating and worried and tried to give you all the tells that you needed to stay. If one of you would have chosen the one, I would have given you the statistics about why you have to switch because it's always better in let's make a deal to make a change. Well, here's what I think. Since you have the hundred, drinks on you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For the latest trends, deals, and life hacks, go to thelisttv.com.